Hi guys, this is my Black Magic Intensity Shuttle, as you can see. Um, got it not too long ago. It wasn't brand new, it was a used one, but uh, you can see here that one of the ports is actually quite loose. These ones are solid, but this one here is loose. It results in dropped video uh, whenever you're recording through the component. So, um, because it's second hand and uh, it doesn't have any warranty or anything, I thought I'd open it up to see if I can fix it. So, the first thing you got to do to open it up is you got to take off this back rubber. Uh, I've taken it off before so it comes off easy now, but um, you know, just take that off and you'll see underneath that there's. Uh, five screws. Now these screws need a Torx 10 screwdriver to remove. So just take those off. So once you remove those, this top part should come off. There we go. Now, it actually takes a while to get this thing off because usually there's clips. You can see here there's clips along the edge here, there's four. And here there's another four and I've already taken this apart and uh, I hate clips so I broke these off intentionally I prefer screws and there you go you've got the intensity shuttle main board there and that just lifts out and um, so there you go you've actually got four chips on there um, you've got your component and your HDMI's so this is the loose one, so if we have a look here, we can see why it's loose. A shoddy workmanship from Blackmagic, I'll just zoom in on that. So that's the first one, the second one, and there's the loose one. You can see there the reason why it's loose is because it has no solder on it. All the other ones seem to be okay. So that's the first chip we have. The second chip is an analog devices chip. There's also another analog devices chip here. And finally we've got this chip, which seems to be perhaps a RAM chip of some kind, I'm not sure.